The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 56, NASDAQ up 21, S&P's up 5.5, gold, gold down $2.30, trading at $15.29 an ounce. We get silver down 25 cents, $18.45 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up, now down 63 cents, 58 dollars and one penny. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year up 11 ticks at 130.13. The 30-year up 28 at 162.17. And when you're doing that uh, update, man, uh, those notes and bonds, man, <laughs> they moved pretty quick out here. They sure did. Uh, King dollar. King dollar down 187 ticks, trading at 98.03. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 107 and a half. And the pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. And why don't we start, uh, there's that yield, right? So things are moving quick. I said yeah. well, something just happened. It, it looks like, and it could just be traders, no, you know. Totally. But this bar, we saw some action in um, the dollar index, I think, as well, to go with the yield. But we're right back down at those lows that we were at yesterday. And, man, we were at 1.8 on Friday. Yesterday, quite a run to about 1.66. And as I was talking, I was like, yep, well, well, well now we got a 1.66 handle. Because we started off with a 1.67. <laughs> yes. And really, <laughs> if you never tell someone like five years ago that bonds would be moving like sure, this, it'd right. be like, what? You yeah. know? And, you know, and guess what? I mean, you know, this was a, you know, anemic dead cat bounce. You know, so it never, it never, when I say dead cat bounce, I'm going all the way back just five months. You know, we're okay, at, from April. We we're at 2.6. Yes. We go down to 1.44, I think. Yep. 1.42. Yeah. Oof. And a normal bounce. When I say normal, that even a, a bounce that is weak should have got you up to like two percent, and we made it to uh, one point nine zero. You know, and where they, they, this is ice basically. This where this is where it was a total breakdown. That was on August first. That's yeah. when we went from two point zero five to one point eight seven. Crazy man. Yeah. Two tenths of a percent in the ten year in a day. In a day. I know. In a day. And I was gonna pull up. Uh, where's our Fibonacci? I wanted to get. Uh, yeah, you can, that's the right one. Yeah. Right here, right? Perfect. Yeah, where do you see this? Because where are we? 38, pretty yeah. pretty much on the peg, right? Right. Not bad. Right. You yeah. see a 0.382 retracement. Yes. That's a weak retracement, you know, in a market. Yeah. Bottom line, then to take off again, you know, meaning your trend continues, and in this particular case, the trend is to the downside. Now, what if we can we delete this? Yeah, just why well, don't just do it again? Just go. Uh, well, how about we can keep it up even? I was I was gonna put out, of, and we'll see. I wanted to see what. This replacement to right, this replacement. Exactly. We're already we'll at 50. Zoom that in. Uh, yes. So here's our 50 number, right on the peg. Right. Cool. So if you break the 50, folks, you go to the 68. Sure. You know, you go to the 68, and you're going to go to full retracement. So yeah. it's already showing that they're still selling bonds. You know, gold. Let's go to the gold contract. Look at gold. You know, because they had gold down seven dollars. You know, it's so wild, folks. If you're in the gold market, I just keep your eye on the dollar too, because when gold was even down seven dollars this morning. The dollar was down slightly, but it's like it was like okay, man, you know. And there's so, that little pop that we're yeah. talking about, where gold just popped, you know, six six right. bucks. We just went from fifteen twenty two to fifteen twenty nine. Yes. And uh, you got juice here, you know. You got some good. That's that was a good pop. Uh, we go over to the E minis. We take a look at the E minis, and you know, where where the the range we're in is is really small. There's no doubt about that. Um, and you know, we'll see how long we stay in this range. You know, yesterday, is that just, no, that was last night, I guess. Yes, last yeah. night, you got up to that 312. Yep. We just got down to uh, three. And all the markets kind of making highs at like 745, 8 o'clock last night, whatever yeah. that spike was. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, oh, let's go look at the pound. So this is going to get. Uh, I think I might do. I still have uh, a chart up. We can jump around yeah. too, but I think I do. There we go. So there's your pound, man, and there's your acceleration okay. from about 4 a.m. Eastern time. What's that correlate to? 9 or 10 a.m. over in um, Britain, in London, 
And yeah, their their version of the Supreme Court basically handed down a decision saying that right. uh, it was illegal for Boris Johnson to lock out Parliament. Right. So they're going to be back and in business tomorrow morning. The, so the way this works, folks, this is pretty wild, is that the the Prime Minister okay. goes to the Queen and gives her advice. Okay. And you know the bottom line is that it was bad advice. Well, when I read that this morning, I says, "Oh, this is intriguing." And how the this Queen works. is supposed to like stay out of things, right? So that's as in politically. So that's I correct, imagine that that advice is something that's a no. And I'm just you tell me because I haven't read it, but is is more of a formality? Like once the advice is offered, it, it really is. But she's the one that got to sign off on it. Right. That's, right now, that, but if she starts signing off on those types of things, she becomes a political force. This is I watch The Crown, which which goes into well, it, and that's part of where it's really you you don't want the Queen getting political where they're really it's more of a no go ahead because oh, no, once no, they no, get into no, it then no, you're the, no, then that, the royal that, family becomes that's political correct, and the that's queen, the last that, thing that, the royal correct, family ever but wants but the queen had to say yes or no she's the only one that could do it so okay but yeah i i get it but then it then it becomes her approving or disapproving and it becomes an unelected it, official that's how it's set up okay yeah that's what's but so I weird know, i know but the point being the, that the reason why they don't do that is because that's not a democracy, and the people will change that if that actually takes place, as opposed to being a formality of a head and state. Um, yeah, and we'll see how what's going to happen now. That's so. That's why people are so flipped out, I think, because because they they got the queen involved. Okay. You know, and it proved illegal now. So what they're saying is that okay, she got bad advice. She signed off on it, and you know the, the, the Supreme Court said, hey. It's My illegal. point being though is that she always just going to follow the advice. And that way, she is not the person actually doing it. It's just oh a yeah, no, it's I just expect a formality. That. Yes, yes, yes. So that's yeah. not going to change, I right. imagine, because the right. queen, the royal family, isn't right. smart. Is is right. as in is smart enough right. to realize that that would be a big problem. Because then you right. actually have a king and a queen, and right. that's why they don't do that. Right. So that's yeah. where I, I I fail to put it on the queen as much because the queen's actually oh, no, saying. Oh I'm not putting I'm, on the queen. I'm just saying that that's the way it works. Okay. That's that's an interesting way. I felt it feels like you're putting it on the queen. No, oh, no, I'm not. Because you're saying it was her decision, yes or no. So that that puts it on the queen. No, that's why I'm and, losing and the. Whatever she says goes exactly, and she she so gets you, the okay. advice from the prime minister. So what you're saying is that whatever advice she gets, she has to always say yes. Right. Politically, right. No, yes. I'm with you, and okay. that's probably how it goes. But. Yeah. You know, it's 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 pretty wild. Man. Oh, it is. That's yeah. You know? It is. They got a and lot going on. And now we see uh, what is it? Uh, Twenty October thirty first, right? Or twenty eighth? There's see? a few different dates over yeah. there. I heard October seventh, October seventh, because they have to have like a plan by a certain day already. There's a few dates okay. looming yeah. that are that are even ahead of that October thirty first too. Yeah, we're gonna love it. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the uh, NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness inside the uh, NDX out here. So strength out here today is Win Casinos is up three percent. You got Mercado Libre up two point two, and Two of Surgical is up two. Uh, Ross Stores, that Ross Stores, yeah, it's up but one point eight. Taken away from it, Mylan Pharmaceuticals down three point eight. Tesla's up two point nine. Netflix is down too. Netflix continues, man. I yeah, saw a story let's, yesterday let's Netflix, that yeah. they're now negative for the year after having a 46% gain at one point. And I, wow. I'm not sure if that's calendar year or 12 months. I think it might be for t this 2019. We'll pull it up in there a moment. Is. Look at this. 231 low, 386 high. October 2nd of last year. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 70, Nasdaq's up 15, S&Ps are up 6.5, and, a half. and uh, notes and bonds, they uh, keep uh, holding a bid there, no doubt about that. Yeah, 10 years up, 9 ticks now, for sure. Let's go take a look at some of the, uh, oh, let's go take a look at Nike. So Nike's coming out with numbers this afternoon. I think it's this afternoon. Let's see. Yeah, they're soon. Let's see. So, yeah, September 24th, that's today, right? That is today, 4.15. Okay. So they're going to be looking... They make any money, this company? Oh, my God. Right. I mean, it's amazing, right? Whew. Look at this. So they're going to be looking at taking $10.4 billion. Billion in 90 days. 90 days. And look at the growth. I mean, this is just amazing that if five years ago they took in $30 billion. Yeah. Now they're taking 42 Yeah. You're talking about $12 billion on $30 billion. That is 40%. 40% growth. I had to check my math for a moment. But yeah, th every three billion of growth would be ten percent. They grew twelve billion from 2015 to 2020. Um, mammoth numbers, man. Isn't it? Because guess what? Those were mammoth numbers already in 2015. Right, and they're still they're at they're at all time highs. All time highs, ninety dollars. They're at eighty seven dollars and ninety one. I don't even know what they sell Nikes at at this point, and I'm sure the top end I really don't in terms of those big basketball Jordans yeah, and whatnot know. with two two fifty two to two ninety nine probably. Really? Right? I don't know. Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay. Maybe it's one ninety nine, but okay. but I some of them are just you know the the real like the yearly Jordans I think they put sure. out or whatever other um, huge superstar they have. They they come in at least a couple hundred bucks I think. That is just got to get them every year, you know. Oh, listen, it's, you know, there's no doubt that sneakers is a fashion. Yes, you know? right, I mean, no, for sure. Yeah. And that's where you talk about, you know, All right. the 2020 Jordan or whatever it is. Yes. They get to, they get right. that premium for their brand. Right. And they spend the money advertising to get that premium. Oh, this, that's, this, you know, there's no doubt about that. Jordan's getting his cut of those still. Imagine, imagine oh, that. I know. That's why he's a billionaire. Oh, my God. Totally. Seriously. Yeah. Let's go take a look overseas and see what had happened overseas la last night. Because what you have here, folks, is this. Like, our S&P has been the strongest, you know, when they look at the world indices. The S&P, the, the Dow, we're, we're still at the, these highs. Yes. 
Now, that being said, you're going to see that, you know, if we look at the larger indices, they're not only off their highs, but they're all acting kind of the same way that the S&P is right now, meaning they're having a hard time holding price. They're, they're, now, they're, they're not at highs, okay? So this is the DAX, this is Germany. This is the DAX in Germany. And you're going to see, I just brought this back, uh, well, let's do it three years. And, yeah. So, okay, perfect. So what you have, the DAX in Germany, that topped out January of 2018. Okay. 13,596. 596. But you can see, like, if we, if we were looking here, going back to May, yep. You know, this is like a consolidation. This yeah. would be like our consolidation at highs. Sure. Okay? And this had that same spike to lows of almost ours was Christmas Eve. It's probably it similar. Um, you made it to 10,200 from right. what did we just say? 13.5. Right. Basically, 35 percent haircut. Right. And then boom, we're up 23 percent from yeah. the just. It would basically be this year to date because right. it was December. And so then let's go to Asia. We'll take a we'll take a look at uh... now Asia, especially in light of the trade woes and oh, how yeah. those are definitely weighing on oh, yeah. some of the Chinese sector in particular. Big time. So we take a look at the Hang Seng and I'll bring this back and do the same thing. Yeah, three, three years. years. And you'll see the Hang Seng high is 33,400. It was November hit the low. Okay. 25,000. That's a yep. haircut, huh? It sure is. This and chart then, a little different than the DAX, right? It is. Yeah. Then you got the bounce up to 30,000. So watch. So what we do? We did 33. Yep. So 24. 25. 24. Yep, 24, 25. Back up to 30. Yep. Now this is at 26. Yeah. They're facing some more woes than the German inside. Right. Now if we take our cash S&P, excuse me, what you're going to see is that we've been at these highs for... Maybe three years, same deal? Yeah, I'll do three, okay. We've been at these highs for, we're like 40 points higher than a high, or 25, only 25 points higher than the high of January 2018, right? Oh, no, 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 this one here I'm talking about. Yeah, 29.40. So it's 60 okay, points yeah. higher than a year ago. Yes. <clears throat> now, granted, this you're still in a higher range, because once you get over this, you're in that higher range. But it's having a hard time doing anything. Yeah. There, you know? So we'll, we'll see where the baby is going to shake out, but... How about, can we go back to Netflix? I want yeah. to take oh, a look yeah, at yeah. Yeah, again. So, again, we have that highs of, man, 300 and something, and the computer catching up with us. But I did see, and, and I was talking to, with Basil one day last week when you were out just yeah. about the Netflix versus Disney saga. I, I do love Netflix, but for the first time, I think you really see some separations here in terms of what they may be dealing with from the likes of Disney, man, you know, sure. and the competitors coming down the line because... And what are we at for the high, even this calendar year? 378, man, now to 260. That's $118. Yeah. You're looking at almost 30% off of that 378. But yeah, I think they were probably going that, you know, you sat here, you started the year at 231 essentially, and you went up to 380, almost 50% profit. And now all of that, you can see. Well, let's see where this low is. Now, what and are we looking the, at? That's Weekly? The, okay. That's the December low. That's, that's, that's Yes, that's, right. That's, and we're right coming for Netflix right. right into it. I mean, even if you say, where did we start the year off? The January 4th weekly bar starts at a low of 256, and the low today is 258. And, you know, you know what you very well have here also is that Netflix is the one that got us all used to basically... Internet TV, definitely. You know Streaming what I mean. So now people, now television. you're used to it. Now, now That's, it's not like, no, I'm not putting on Channel Four, or Channel Five no, anymore. Right, you you know cut what I mean? the cord. You right. know, you got Netflix, you got Prime, right. you got Hulu, you got Disney Plus, you got ESPN Plus, whatever it is, um, and you know Disney, ESPN. They're gonna, they're gonna package all of that up right. with a Disney, ESPN, Hulu package. I'm sure at some point. But yeah, for the first time, I think you'd see. You know, it's so funny. I think you know this though. I thought I hadn't cut the cord at okay. my house. And so what had happened, folks, is that you. No, I did. And I knew that I had internet, okay? But you know, I don't I don't have a TV, so I don't watch TV. But so what happened, I says, Oh my God, hold it. You know, I've had this the whole time, but I had cut the cord and I forgot to bring the box back. Okay. Yeah, you know, I cut I cut it like eight months ago. Good for you. I know I was elated, you know what I mean? You gotta return those but boxes. But now I gotta return the box because I'm now, you have to, now eight months bucks later back. you have to yeah, return but the you, box. You're still getting it back. Yeah? Yeah. So Let's go to Scott and Safety Hub. Hey, Scott, what's going on? 
First of all, Tom, thank you for years and years and years of, of information and your dedication to the sport. It's just unbelievable that, 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 you're, that you're still around, you're still going strong. Everybody else is not everybody else, but most people have faltered or fallen away, and you're, you're still there. I mean, you're, well, you're we, a constant, and it's, it's, it's just great to know that uh, we can tune in to, to, to TFN, and, and you're there all, 24 hours a day pretty much. You're well, always there. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you growling a problem with us, no doubt, man. So, I call uh, Basil's show often, and I, I I go in pretty large with certain stocks, and I went in deep with with X. And besides the charting aspect of it, don't you think that we're overlooking, you know, the fact that we're going to need steel, we're going to need aggregates, and there's no app for that, you know, <laughs> we, we're, we're going to need these these raw materials sooner or later. I mean, we need them now. Yeah, just stay right there. We'll come right back. We're going to take a look at uh, U.S. Steel. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, Dow Industrials right now, we are trading up 41. NASDAQ is up 4. S&P is up 2.5. Hi, folks. Come Tom right O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 46. Nasdaq's up 5. S&Ps are up 2.5. We're talking with Scott from uh, Safety Hub, and we're talking about uh, U.S. Steel. So, you know, let's just take a look at this first. Uh, I'll take a look technically. So the low's 10, the high's 30. Um, 
That high I saw September 28th, 18, almost to a peg, three, right. 365 days ago. You know, so, I mean, you got to be careful there, man, because you're hammering bottoms. Um, let me put this a little bit longer. So, what, it, technically, Scott, I mean, this thing can, you know, get down to 8.52. That, that was when it came off the lows in uh, March of 2016. There's that strength, right? You know, the top of the strength is seventeen dollars. The bottom it was eight fifty-two. Uh, Quite a month. Yeah. You know, fundamentally, what has happened is that uh, the TAFs bottom line end up basically hurting the steel companies more than helping them. You know, at the beginning they made a fortune for the first couple quarters, and then they get slammed because what ends up happening is that production, manufacturing, production pull back, and in the U.S. they needed less steel than they had prior to that. You know? Yeah, you have some downgrades that you may have seen even that was a couple of days ago. Uh, excuse me, yesterday even. Um, we have that one up. It was up the day after I bought it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? That was the day after I bought it. I did the downgrades. You know, one thing I like is we've got a gatekeeper now with Donald Trump who's not going to allow any uh, Chinese steel, so that's a good thing. I don't think so. Because I mean, what you have there, it just, the U.S. steel itself has always been a dog. I mean, you know, I mean, if you take a look at this chart, you get a you get a chart that I believe if we bring this back you're gonna see. Yeah, you get you get a chart. U.S. Steel is at what uh, 100, 196 dollars. You're at ten bucks. Right. You know, mm -hmm. steel That's in not. general. Like you, you, what you had said is that we need steel. Yeah, we need steel. But what happens is that the business they're in they're in the flat rolled business and the tubular business. So the flat rolled business and the tubular business is basically automo automotive needs it and energy needs it so energy is down the tubes also do you know what i'm saying and that's what they specifically said in one of these articles scott just that the pittsburgh-based producer said weakening markets for flat rolled steel and tubular products for the energy industry and that warning coming after they got another downgrade on the, the likes and that's after nucor and nucor is one of the strongest steel companies out there and I just want well, to jump Tom, over to this. Who is the company to go with then for bridges for, for, for skyscrapers? Who's who's the steel beam uh, company? I believe, let me see this for a second. If we do. I see AK's just horrible lately. Yeah, no. I New, Nucor is the premier deal. I Nucor. just don't know uh, exactly if that's what we're talking about. But this is the premier steel company. I mean, if you look at Nucor, what you're going to see, I'll do the same 20-year deal, and you're going to see that, yeah, I mean, it's down from $82 and it's 51 but it's not down from 200 to 10 Do you know what I'm saying? And just Can I ask you uh, about one other thing in that same uh, sure. arena? C-Mix, I was always big in C-Mix, and then they said that we'll never build anything that has anything to do with Donald Trump. And I think that, you know, the CEO should have been X'd out like, uh, you know, Elon Musk did uh, for saying what. Anyway, but I see these C-Mix trucks, I'm sure you do too, but those, the white and, and red, white, and blue trucks everywhere. And the stock's three bucks. And it won't move. You know, so this has, we know, Tommy and I know quite a bit about this one because um, uh, who, uh, oh my God, I, I can't believe I can't remember his name. One of our tigers that, you know, is from Mexico and lives, he lives in the United States. He goes Carlos? back and forth. Carlos, yeah. Okay. Um, Carlos was calling about this and I think he bought it, I don't know whether a, a buck and a half, two bucks, whatever. But what happens here is that when we brought this up, Scott, yeah, what right? is it now? The, the CMEX. This is a company that has so much debt, it's insane. Uh, it, was, it was up there. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. um, when you look at uh, CMEX, let's go down right there. Uh, all the way down there. So watch this. This is good. CX, okay. Because this is crazy, Scott. <laughs> this is like insane. So watch this, folks. They, uh, the low for the is 282, the high is 726. Now, this is. But when you look at this, you're not going to believe this, because these guys are everywhere. This, this is the biggest cement company in the world. $9 billion market cap. Right. So they take in $14 billion. And they have since forever. Right. right. But when you look at their debt structure, their debt structure is some kind of 
in, I mean, I forget what it was. Well, well you can well, see they take in $14 billion a yeah. year. The company is only worth $9 billion a year. Y there you go. You know, right. and you're barely making right. money. Um, the one last thing I wanted to go over, Scott, before just to take a look at, because um, they're still going to pull in so much money, but, you know, you look at the revenue, and I'm jumping back to U.S. Steel here. So we have their revenue up. In 2018, they were crushing it with 536 for profit, earnings right. per share, and on that year they took in 14.2 billion. Well, in 2020, they're still going to take in 12.7 billion, so you lost 1.5 billion off the top, but that was all profit, and they're making four pennies in 2020. So you can see that you know they're still going to sell 12 to 13 billion dollars a year in steel, even on this forecast coming into this current year, and they still have two quarters of 2019 to come in with before you get to the 2020 forecast. So they're still saying they're going to take in 12.7 billion in revenue of 2020, but they're not going to make any money. And that's the big difference of where you might see this share price struggle if you know you you re, you, you can't reach the economies of scale where all your profits were. Yeah. You know, Tom, one day I'm going to have to uh Oh, just, to, to just you know, take you to Burn Steakhouse and have you explain to me how people, how these companies, you know, these pharmaceutical companies that bring in no money, they have nothing, are forty dollars a share, fifty dollars yeah. a share. I mean, I've never understood that. You know, it's just this. this you know, you know, mind. I can't you know who we need for that? Like that? That the guy, confused, the, you know, the guy we need for that. We got to take him out of retirement. Is Bud Rolfs? Okay. Bud Rolfs is the biopharma company. That <laughs> what that's all about, Scott. Is that that's really about the what are the Chances going forward that they got an explosive drug. But yeah. Bud, Bud Rolfs knew that. And he's just saying, though, versus down. a steel company that oh, you're going to need. Exactly. That's worth no, it. you're right. He's yeah. right. There's no, there's no doubt. I like man. the thinking methodology, right? right. And that's why I just pulled up the revenue because yeah. I was I was like, you know what? Uh, where? How much are they? And it's like, yeah, no. they're still going to take and, in tens of billions of dollars. And steel's not going away. But they were no priced right. at a level of decent profitability, you know, right. and they're not priced at that level right. anymore, even right. by their own forecast. Uh, do you remember the days when Kramer was all over Croc shoes, and I had intelligent people that I trade with, doctors, lawyers, I mean, wait a minute, leave the lawyers out, but the doctors, <laughs> and so, you know, the Crocs, are buying a, a company that only makes one product, plastic shoes, for a hundred and some dollars a share. I mean, it's just... Hey, Lululemon's the right, I mean, the same thing right now. A, a, Athleisure. something that makes something with steel, yeah. you know? Yeah, they got to make something and they got to get something to the bottom line, though. Right? Yeah, the, the bottom line is the hottest part. Yeah. No doubt about that. Yeah. Hey, listen, it's man. It's all so confusing, isn't it, to me, anyway? There's a lot going on, man. <laughs> Have a great one, Scott. I'm Have a safe one. I made, I made a lot of money on, on CX and when it popped up way back, and then I still got people mad at me because they got greedy, you know, when I told them to sell out. They didn't want to. Greed's always a tough one, man. You know? Yep. Tom, again, we love you. You're doing a fantastic job. You know, I'm jealous that to be able to work with your son like that and so forth. Believe me, folks, no matter how, what kind of money you get, if you, if you don't have family, if you don't have structure, you will be miserable. Have you a great week, Scott. Scott. Take care, man. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 66. Nasdaq's up one. S&Ps are up four. And let's go over to the NDX 100. Keep an eye on this, folks, because the NDX 100 has the power to bring you up and bring you down. And uh, it looks at this particular pace, case that we have a little selling inside uh, this uh, index. The comp is actually what uh, took the numbers into the close yesterday into a negative aspect. So we had a high, but that was like late last, uh, the, yeah, overnight. Yeah. Overnight at 79.04. But if yes. you take the high from, you know, the, the market yep. this 78. morning. 78.94. Yeah, so 70. About 40 points exactly. 78.94 yeah. to 78.54. And what you have here now, you, you got, you, you know, you, you got a little volume coming in down here. So 78.47. Yeah, 78.47 has the volume on it. So that's going to get tested. So we'll, that's where the battle line's set up right now. You break that, though, and then guess what? You can be right down to those uh, lows uh, of 10.30 yesterday morning. And there's, there's no doubt that... Oh, did you see what Facebook bought? Yeah, they're going to read your brain. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah. this is wild, folks. Okay, this is... Man, the companies that are getting starting up right One now are just happening. phenomenal, man. F be. Yeah, so they bought it, uh, this company, I believe, between five hundred million and a billion dollars. Yeah, right? is that what? Uh, yeah. There you go, the top one. Controlling computers with your mind. I was reading about this morning. So CTRL or Control Labs. Not sure which one you'll say it. That's the control button yes. on your keyboard, right? So Control Labs, technology startup building software to let people control a digital avatar using only their thoughts. The world's largest network is paying between five hundred million and a billion. People familiar with the deal? So the closely held four-year-old startup, not bad, which has dozens, not hundreds, dozens of employees yeah. and raised tens of millions in venture capital, uses a bracelet to measure neur neuron activity in a subject's arm to determine movement that person is thinking about, even if they aren't physically moving. That neuron activity is then translated into movement on a digital screen. And so I was reading about it. It's almost as in, imagine you're going to send the signal to your hand just like we're using a mouse. Okay. So they put a bracelet, they're firing, they read the neurons. Yeah. So that's where your mind fires off those types of syntaxes, and you don't even need to have the mouse, but you're firing the neurons that it then associates with that type of brain activity. Man. To Science is so cool, man. So Facebook. Uh, that, is, that is just amazing. And so they say that control um, technology like Control Labs may someday be a crucial part of products like augmented reality glasses, where yeah. a user might want to control a computer without needing buttons. You do something with your eyes. You think one way with your hand. Your hands could be in your pocket behind you. <laughs> uh, 
it's the intention to move, not the movement itself that hey, controls folks, the whatever avatar. Whatever you think about, you bring about, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I've, oh heard, I've, heard, uh, I've heard Elon Musk, I think, say, you know, listen, we're already intertwined with computers. We just have a, and I forget the way he put it with his words, but yeah. we just have a bad interface. We have to do all this stuff with our hand. But, you know, you actually already are in the computer when you think about it. The way you use a mouse, it's just that it, the, the process from your brain to your hand to the mouse to the computer is something that you're going to see might made much more rapid and intertwined. Because you do think about it. You, you are all, you know, your thoughts are moving the computer to do things. Already, it's just a very archaic way to force the mouse versus they're going to start reading that brain activity. Um, you see this type of deal with amputees and limbs, so already they're making health strides where you yes. think about moving your foot Which and they're, they're starting. I saw 60 Minutes. We're jumping all around, but it was some remarkable folks. And the way they said it is that they're learning, and this person had to choose, unfortunately, because of an injury, yeah. to have an amputation to, for a quality of life. But as a result, they got to amputate it in a way that preserved more of the nerves okay. as opposed to a regular amputation just yep. by however they happen sure. or birth. And as doing that, then they were able to preserve nerve endings and they were really able to strap on an, um, a limb yep. that your brain could control. And using, I'm sure, this same type of deal. Pretty cool, I know. That you think about so cool, where man. we might be in 10, 15, 20, yeah. let alone, you know, 50 years. My goodness, you can't even probably imagine. And that's it. The, the wristband will decode the signals and translate them into the digital signal. Your wristband, my God. Yeah. And so, of course, you know, Better Facebook. Not run out of electricity, I guess. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, hey, who knows? I know. Those oh, are all questions. Man. Yeah. That's, that's So they say that they're not competitors, they don't have or make this technology, Face, Facebook saying, so they're going to use this, and of course they have their, what was the big virtual reality company they bought, yes. um, the Facebook, right. they're in it of course, augmented reality, virtual yeah. reality, right. that's one of the next big things coming down the line. Pretty intense, man. It is, you hear about this, right, you hear about self-driving, self-flying cars, all that stuff, Right. pretty cool. Right. Yeah. I want to, I want to. Go back to school. I want to learn more science because it's so cool. I mean, the, that stuff is remarkable. It is. That's why that 60 it, minute story stuck with me because it, it really is. You know, they literally strap on a limb and the person just thinking about moving their foot right. and the limb is firing up. And, yep. and see, as we were talking, that, and those NQs, they're leading it. That didn't take much, so someone just fired something off. Let's go back to the SPs back under 3,000. Yeah, we hit the NQs again. You're going to see that. When they start selling these NQs off, folks, get out of the way because... Uh, that was back under 27,000, I saw. You know, for some reason, they can just blow it apart pretty quickly. But that's, that's how it likes to trade. So next leg here is uh, 78.22. Okay. We're yesterday, not far away from it. <laughs> yesterday morning low. Yeah. You know, 24 yeah. hours ago, right? All right. How and about Tesla? Can we pull up Tesla? Because we were talking about yesterday with oh, Larry yeah. Ellison and him knocking Uber. Right. What we should have mentioned, of course, is that he's on the board of Tesla with a huge yeah. ownership. So when he was right. saying that, um, and the expression he said was that he could have had a monkey, I believe. No, uh, Oh, jeez, I had it yesterday. A cat. His cat. That's what he said. His, his, cat. his cat could have written the, the code for the Uber app. And what do they really own? Uh, well, Tesla's going to be a competitor of theirs when they start putting out their own fleet of driver, right. you know, vehicles, whatever they have. Driverless vehicles. Driverless, right. yes. Yeah. yeah. But I imagine, Tesla, you might see them be a competitor even before. There's no reason why they couldn't, if they have the vehicles, right? If they deliver all their cars to the consumers that want to buy them, well, why don't they just start making them themselves and then they begin their own fleet? But right now they can sell, they have the backlog. So I imagine that they're not going to build a fleet of vehicles when they have a backlog. They can't even deliver right. the sales. But once you right. get to a point, they're actually going to have this unique idea that they can build a fleet for themselves and deploy. And that's what you're saying. They don't even own cars, Uber. We're going to own all these cars and we're going to own them. They're going to be our and cars. And we don't have to pay the drivers. Well, that's really, yeah. That's, that's. And when you have Facebook buying technology that you're going to control computers with your brains, how far off are driverless? <laughs> now, with that in mind, folks, I say all the time, you ever just send a text to somebody and autocorrect has just a brain fart and they can't figure out anything? And I say, we're going to have driverless cars and my phone can't figure out a simple sentence and they actually miscorrect it to say something wrong. So... There's a lot out there. Yeah, as long as you, you end up in a nice warm place instead of Alaska or a cold place. When, you, when, the, when the driverless yeah, uh, exactly. Tesla, Tesla plane exactly. comes and picks you up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, make sure they don't have a one-way trip to Alaska. Yeah, right. Even Alaska's beautiful. Just make sure you get there in July. Yes, <laughs> true. Right. No, yeah, no, no, or no, bundle no. up in December. Yeah. 
So uh, market-wise here, folks, you know, a little, little sell impression. Nothing heavy. I mean, we've been in this range for quite some time. So we'll see whether they uh, start uh, really unloading anything. You know, right now you have the Dow up 63, Nasdaq's down 8, S&P's uh, up 4. It's the, it's the composite as well as the NDX 100. That is the weak link in here, you know. Yeah. And uh, they, can, they can take it south, though. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Folks, uh, we get Netflix down 551. We get Disney up 126. Yeah, so we'll do a quick comparison. Yeah. I like comparing these two. I think about them both a lot right now, and I'm pretty bullish on Disney, man, because we'll go over it. So Disney, $240 billion company, yeah. okay? And they have 1.8 billion shares, outstanding. We'll remember these only because they're going to jump to the revenue for their right. profit. So $240 billion. They got 1.8 billion out shares outstanding. So you're making five bucks a share somewhere 2019, 2020. Times that 1.8 billion. Yeah, yeah so yeah, call right. it 10 billion dollars a year in profit, right? right? right. You're taking in 70 to 80 billion dollars in revenue. All right? right. Now run that over to Netflix. Netflix, 114 billion dollar company versus yeah. 270. Yeah. Okay. So Disney, two and a half times almost the size for market cap. You're looking at about 437 shares 
437 million shares outstanding. And when you jump over to revenue, they're taking in, now they're showing massive growth from 15 to 20 to 25 billion. They're gonna, they're projecting, now this is where it gets careful, you know, that's, right. that's almost a record profit they're looking yeah. at, all right? So, but they're projecting 564, same earnings per share, but they only have 437. Right. So they're making about 2 billion in profit. Versus 10. Yes. Now, the revenue side, they're making 20 to 25, it was 70 to 80. But man, we were almost just talking during the break. We're like, what is the Netflix, what's their brand, right? What, right. Is, what as in what shows are they branded? Well, they have the Ozarks, they have Orange is the New Black. Um, they have a number of others who have won Emmys, I think, yeah. even themselves. Breaking Bad, was that this? No, that was that was AMC as well. See, you're, AMC? you're an AMC fan. He was thinking is, Walking Dead, Breaking Bad, funny? those are yeah, AMC. Right. Um, they, you know what's happened though is that they've gained a lot of list uh, viewers on Netflix when they bought the replays. Is what happens. Exactly. So that is. But Disney, they got Star Wars, they got oh. Marvel, they have they they have. They Mickey Mouse, man. So if you're looking for their Netflix, man, <laughs> yeah. what are they? Right, they got Mickey Mouse. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> it's totally. Stay right there, folks. You got Think of Swim coming up next. TD Ameritrade. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. Steve Rhodes. Dave Wake. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, folks. Thanks, man. Oh. Go get him, folks.